Biggie Smalls is about to be inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He might be inducted by now. I forgot who else going to be in, inducted besides him and Whitney Houston, both from OIP. And uh, to those who think that Biggie and Whitney isn't rock and roll, check your history. Because Biggie and Whitney both represented sex, drugs, and death. They lived it, and they died for it. So, yeah, they qualify for rock and roll. Biggie was hardcore. He talked about selling drugs. He talked about fucking a lot of girls, and he died. And, and he died. He talked about getting shot and suicide. Whitney did drugs. He parted. She was a prostitute, and she died young because of drugs. That's rock and roll. Fucking A, man. <laughs> anyway, once again, for all you Tupac and Biggie fans, Biggie. Congratulations to all you Biggie fans. I was never much of a Biggie fan. I like a few songs, but you know, Tupac kick his ass all the time. No matter no, no matter how many times you compare them to, Tupac always gonna whoop Biggie's ass. Pop was in the was, was into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame first. Pop made more albums and he made more films and he made more TV appearances than Pac banged hotter girls who still talk about how good his dick was. Ain't nobody riding Biggie dick except Lil' Kim. And maybe Faith sometimes when it benefits her. And Charlie Baltimore. But you got people still talking about Pop dick from 25 years ago.